This is a fashion video that you guys need to watch. Today, I'm showing you a couple fashion hacks that are literally going to change your life. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. I've been working in the fashion industry for a very long time. And for those of you who do know me, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you guys. It is so fun. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. I love posting these videos and then you guys all talk to me down below and I talk back. It's very fun. Okay, I'm gonna get right into the video. Before I do, remember everyone, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I will show up in your mailbox every Friday and we will hang out. It's free. Let's move right in to these life-changing fashion hacks. Fashion hack number one. This is something that literally makes me crazy all the time. If you wear blouses to work, if you wear blouses or any type of shirt that's tucked in and it kind of is a little bit slippery, it has a tendency to like kind of fall out of place. I've shown this before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. You actually just use a simple elastic on the shirt, gather up the blouse or the sweater that you're wearing, you wrap the elastic around it and then it's kind of held into place the way that you want it and just tuck that little piece into the front of your jeans. You can tuck the back in too, or you can let the back hang out depending on how it works for your body type. I normally use a clear, one of those clear baby elastics. Right now I'm just showing you with a black hair tie elastic, but really it'll work with any type of elastic that you can find in your drawer or in your house. The next hack I have for you, one of the things that can really finish off your blouse or your sweater or anything, actually a jacket or any coat that you're wearing, a blazer. This is a really fun trick that I've used before. Um, okay, so for this blouse that I'm wearing, it has ruffled sleeves. It looks really cute to leave it down. So this isn't a blouse that I would typically do this hack with, but I'm just gonna show you because I have this blouse on. Um, what you can do is a lot of times I like to roll up the sleeves of my blouse because it just gives it a little more finished look. Same thing with the sweater when I'm wearing it, I like to push the sleeves up, even sometimes in a blazer, I push the sleeves up for a more finished look. A really cool thing that you can do is use the same hair tie elastic that I just used for my shirt. You know how you get them in a large pack? I have a million of them. Sometimes they stretch out and you can't use them anymore in your hair, keep those because you can actually use them on your arms to keep your sleeves up. Super easy, foolproof trick. You can use it with blazers, sweaters, blouses, whatever. Take your hair elastics that have kind of, you know, expanded and they're a little wide. Some of you obviously are gonna have bigger arms. This one's even a little bit tight on my arm. This is a fresh one, a little tight. But the ones that have been well used and well loved, those are a lot easier to use. So it's very simple and easy to do. It depends on what you're actually wearing. So for this particular blouse, I've just put the elastic around my wrist and then I'm actually just gonna pull it up to where I want it and then allow it to fold over the elastic. So that is going to keep my blouse ruched up and in place and I look really polished and my elastic is holding it together. Are you guys ready for this life-changing hack? Sometimes in the winter, depending on if you live in a cooler place, when you have a coat on, whether it's a heavier wool coat or a trench coat or something that's kind of long and baggy, if you are walking around, if you're going into meetings, if you're getting in and out of your car, it can be a super pain to have it just like flapping in the wind and you don't always wanna have it done up. So let's say the weather's a little bit lighter. One of my favorite tricks to do is actually to tie it behind the coat. So that actually gives it a much more slimming silhouette. Super classy looking and allows you to just walk around looking well put together. Something else I have to say about tying it behind your back, I actually had this coat on, got into my car, my belt was flapping around, and then when I got into my house, I realized my belt was hanging out and dragging along the ground the entire time I was driving. So I didn't really like that, so tying it behind my back when I'm not actually needing to bundle up is a really great option when you need to wear your coat in and out and about. Another hack with your coat can be if you wanna dress it up, let's say you now you're going out, so let's change your boots out to a higher heel, different color. I sometimes will actually add a belt to the outside of my coat. I do this with my blazers, I do this with my trench coats, I do this with this wool coat. It just kinda dresses it up and gives it a little bit of a different look. So you can add any belt that you have in your wardrobe. Again, you don't wanna have too many different colors going on. I've added a white belt because it's fairly neutral. 
I've matched it with white booties. So I've kind of kept the look streamlined. However, I've really changed the look of the coat and dressed it up in the process. Life-changing people, life-changing. Okay, this hack, I feel like everyone knows, but every time I style a photo shoot, I will say to the models or the bloggers or whoever I'm working with, I'm like, because we're changing clothes and hair and makeup is already done. And I'm like, do you have a makeup scarf? They look at me and they're like, makeup scarf? I'm like, I started modeling when I was, I think 14 or 15 and I had to have a makeup scarf in my bag or I was in very big trouble. So um, oftentimes when I'm getting ready, I don't know about you guys, but I'll have my robe on or a sweatshirt or like my comfy clothes. And then I'm like, oh crap, I need to put on like a turtleneck or a tighter neck shirt and I don't wanna get makeup all over the shirt. Um, and I'll do this in change rooms too. Actually, if I'm shopping, I'll bring a makeup scarf. So this one, is a little silk scarf. I actually stole it um, from my mom's house. I suggest any type of silk or satin little scarf to just have in your closet, throw it in your drawer. Mine just sits in my lingerie drawer, actually. And I say silk or satin because it slips past the clothes easily. Because if it's got a little bit of friction to it, like if it's cotton or something else, it just makes it a little harder. This is all you do. Keep this in your bag when you're shopping. Keep it in your lingerie drawer at home or your bathroom, whatever. You just throw it over your face. Super easy. Anyway, here's the sweater that I was actually going to wear for this video. All you do is you can just stretch your turtleneck. Look at that. Boink. And then, voila. My makeup did not go on the turtleneck. And my hair, I think it looks good. Maybe I need to fix it a little bit. So that works 100% of the time. I can't tell you how invaluable uh, this trick is for me. This is something that I really love and I use probably every day. This next hack is awesome. Okay, so high rise pants are all rage right now. High rise jeans, high rise wide leg pants, you get the idea. Sometimes when you just have a regular sweater on, even though I absolutely love this sweater, I know you're gonna ask, it's from Lily Silk. It's one of my faves, I just got it. Sometimes when you're wearing a sweater and it's a bit dumpy, you just want it to be a little more cropped, especially with a pair of high rise pants. Especially for those of you with with a body type, um, a rectangle, an hourglass, you're really gonna love this trick. You're actually gonna take the bottom of the sweater and you're just going to tuck it under your bra. It sounds really uncomfortable, but actually it's not at all. I do it all the time. And I do it actually at the back as well. I actually have a, a blouse underneath the sweater and the sweater tucked into my bra and it is no big deal and it feels like nothing. So it just doesn't give you that big bulge that you have around your waist to try and like really tuck your sweater in if you need to change the height of your sweater. It's such a great hack, you guys. You can change any sweater into a different height. As a stylist, one of the best tools that I have in my kit is my fashion tape or otherwise known as double-sided tape. I literally can't go on a set without fashion tape and probably clips. Uh, those are my two things, but you're not gonna walk around with clips in your clothes. So fashion tape is your number one friend. So this can be used for so many things. So often in the summer, if you have a blouse that's kind of gaping open, I will put it on one side of my blouse and stick it to my skin. Um, for any type of, if you wanna uh, keep your bra underneath the strap, you can use it for that. You can use fashion tape to keep your belt. You know, sometimes when your belt is like flapping and you have that long end that you don't really want, fashion tape. Um, another thing that I use fashion tape, I have like really skinny little legs and I like to wear um, over the knee boots. I have a pair of Stuart Wiseman over the knee boots. And so sometimes like even though they've got a, a pull string on them, I can't actually, even I bow that up, they sometimes still fall down. So one of my tricks, especially during fashion week, is I'll actually put fashion tape on the inside around my boot and then stick it to my leg. Cause then at least they're not like falling down. So that will work for any any of you guys that have some boots that you need to hold up. Another trick for the fashion tape, if you have shoes, and this often happens for models in runway shows, or maybe you just buy a pair of shoes and they're just a little too big, if you actually take fashion tape and put it along the back edge of the shoe, that will help your heel stay in the shoe. So in instead of it constantly flipping out, this will help you stay in your shoes. It is such a great tool for you. So coming into the new year, go grab some. They have it at any of your local drugstores. Um, I'll leave a link to a few that you can buy down below. You, you can get really any type that works for you. Some of the shoe stores even have it, drug stores. 
um, clothing stores. I know Le Chateau, I find all sorts of goodies in there. That's a store in Canada. But I actually found, I grabbed some fashion tape in Le Chateau. I was like, mm, thank you. Um, so it's just a great thing to look for. It really is a lifesaver in your wardrobe and it'll save you a lot of time and leave you feeling more confident and put together. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Those are literally the hacks that I use every day, either on set or in my own life. They are super important to me. I try to think of the things that were actually practical that you could use right now. So I hope that you enjoyed those. If you have some other fashion hacks, leave those down in the comments below. Everyone can share theirs, we can talk about it. Maybe there's some that I haven't heard of that I would love to hear of from you guys. So let me know. Anyway, I will see you on the next video. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> With what? The coat? It's so that thing, the little thing. It, it's good. It's fine. Okay. You just need a magic wand. Wait. <laughs> I don't think Harry Potter was very fashionable. Okay. I was a girl from Harry Potter. Oh, okay. okay.